Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you a technique that I thought up recently on how to create random melodic elements for your tracks inside Ableton. It's using the Maxwellite device, which I think you can download somewhere online called Stretta Random Generator 2. And basically the device creates these really wacky random melodic sequences which you can then chop up in simpler and play through like a MIDI with a MIDI keyboard or with MIDI sequence. I've then been using the random effects inside of Ableton to give it even more randomness, almost treating it a bit like a modular setup. First I'll load the Max for Live device. As you can see, it just plays every note at C1. But if I hit random, it'll randomize the steps a bit like the mono sequencer I demoed in the 303 Acid tutorial I did. Once you've got a random sequence you like, let's record it into an audio lane. Load a new audio lane and set the input to the stretter. Arm the channel and hit the record button. Trim up the clip, then create a MIDI lane and drag the clip in. This will add the audio to a simpler. Set the simpler to slice mode and now you can play the clip transient with your keyboard or MIDI sequence. I'm going to move a MIDI note down to the first note in the sequence, then draw in the rest of the notes. Now when I play the MIDI clip, it plays through the Yuri sample in order. I'll now add an echo effect to make the sound more interesting, especially after we add more randomness. Set the parameters to your liking and then let's spice up our MIDI sequence. Add the random MIDI effect and then add some more random MIDI effect. Increase the random on the add some random and then add another copy. Set the second one to gate mode and increase the lowest and out low. The two effects together will stop all the notes being played getting through as the first effect randomizes the velocity of the notes then the second one sets parameters for what notes can get through. In this case anything above the velocity range we've set. Finally the initial random which randomizes the MIDI sequence even more by sending notes around causing the MIDI notes to jump forwards and backwards in the sequence. To randomize it even more we can map the random amount to a shaper. We can even use the shaper to automate the lowest note parameters. Now we've got something completely random playing each bar. Now we can record the MIDI in and pick sections we like. Here's a section I like the start of. I'll cut in the end of another section and voila! Something completely random and completely unique which we can use in a track. After recording this I thought that if you don't like the sound of the stress it produces you could probably take the audio and convert it to MIDI and then use those notes on another synth. Uh, so enjoy! So that's the video, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from that. One thing I neglected to say in the tutorial was that you don't have to use a sample from the Stretter, you could use anything you want a uh, sequence from a sample pack, the sound of a babbling brook, anything you want to experiment with and you might get some wicked results. So I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers and I thought I'd do a thousand subscriber special because I don't know if that's a YouTube thing to do. So leave your comments of what you want to see in the comments below. I think somebody suggested that they wanted to see me show how I make my own music so I could do that. If that's something you want to see or something else, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you in the next one.